वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन ब्लॉक डायग्राम रिडक्शन टेक्निक सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी नीड टू डिराइव द ओवरऑल ट्रांसफर फंक्शन फॉर दिस कंट्रोल सिस्टम विच आर गिवन बाय द हेल्प ऑफ यूजिंग ब्लॉक डायग्राम रिडक्शन टेक्निक सो वॉट वी नीड टू डू इज टू डिराइव द ओवरऑल ट्रांसफर फंक्शन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द ब्लॉक डायग्राम रिडक्शन टेक्निक by analyzing this whole control system we can say that the initial starting would be from this two blocks which are connected in parallel combination since the blocks having the gain equals to g2 and g3 are connected in parallel combination so they can easily be solved by the help of the rule number 2 that we studied so step number 1 would be solving g2 and g3 block connected in parallel combination now let's calculate the equivalent forward path gain which will be appear after evaluating g2 and g3 in the parallel combination since g2 and g3 are in parallel combination so the overall gain would be nothing but the addition of this g2 and g3 that is g2 plus g3 now let us redraw this whole control system so here is the r of s which is applied to the summer the output of the summer is applied to g1 output of g1 is applied to this summer and we eliminated this whole block and reduce it into the equivalent block having the gain equals to the addition of g2 and g3 so here we draw this equivalent gain g2 plus g3 and the output of this block will given as an input to g4 and here is the overall output that is denoted by nothing but c of s here there is a take off point having the feedback path gain equals to h1 and this h1 is connected with negative polarity by this summer here is positive side here is an another take off point for the feedback path gain equals to h2 and this h2 is connected with this summer with negative polarity and here is positive polarity so this is the simplified control system after this let's have a look at this loop here is a feedback system so this is the feedback system having the forward path gain equals to the sum of g2 and g3 and the feedback path gain is equals to h1 now let us think about what type of feedback system it is either positive feedback system or negative feedback system it is a negative feedback system because the feedback path gain is connected with negative polarity to the summer that's why it is a negative feedback system so our step number 2 is nothing but solving negative feedback system let's redraw this whole control system 
before redrawing we should analyze that in place of this whole block what will come so since we know that the equivalent transfer function for the negative control system is given as g over 1 plus g into h where g is the forward path gain and h is the feedback path gain here the forward path gain is nothing but g2 plus g3 so in place of g we simply write g2 plus g3 and here the feedback path gain is h1 so in place of h we write h1 let's redraw the circuit we get r of s here is a summer here is g1 the output of g1 will be fed into this feedback control system so in place of this whole feedback control system we simply write the equivalent and the equivalent is nothing but in place of g we write g2 plus g3 g2 plus g3 whole divided by 1 plus 1 plus in place of g we write g2 plus g3 g2 plus g3 in place of h we write h1 so this is equivalent block after this g4 is connected so here is g4 and here is the overall output that is nothing but c of s here is a takeoff point and here is feedback path gain h2 and feedback path gain is connected to the summer with negative polarity so this is more simplified control system now let's have a look to the next step so what will be the next step by analyzing this whole control system we can say that these three blocks having the gain g1 g4 and this whole gain are in series connection or in cascade connection so we can easily solve this three blocks so let's think about what would be the equivalent gain after solving this three block in series so if any of the gain blocks are connected in series then the equivalent of that blocks will be nothing but the multiplication of that gain so the equivalent of these three blocks will nothing but the multiplication of these three blocks so the multiplication will be nothing but g1 into g4 into g2 plus g3 over 1 plus g2 plus g3 into h1 so this would be the overall gain so we just simply write the third step that is solving the blocks which are connected in series so let's draw the equivalent circuit so here is the r of s which is applied as an input to the summer with positive polarity and the output of this summer will now fed to the equivalent block having the gain just we calculated that is equals to g1 multiplied with g4 multiplied with g2 plus g3 over 1 plus g2 plus g3 into h1 this is the equivalent gain after this here is a overall output that is c of s and here is a takeoff point which is connected to the feedback gain that is 
एच टू एंड एच टू इज कनेक्टेड विथ नेगेटिव पॉलरिटी नाउ द होल कंट्रोल सिस्टम इज नाउ रिप्लेस्ड विथ अ फीडबैक सिस्टम सो वॉट टाइप ऑफ फीडबैक सिस्टम इज इट आइदर पॉजिटिव फीडबैक सिस्टम और नेगेटिव फीडबैक सिस्टम सिंस द फीडबैक पाथ गेन हैविंग द गेन इक्वल्स टू एच टू इज कनेक्टेड विथ नेगेटिव पॉलरिटी डेट्स वाई वी कैन से डैट इट इज़ अ नेगेटिव फीडबैक सिस्टम एंड वी ऑल्सो ऑब्जर्व डेट द ट्रांसफर फंक्शन टी ऑफ एस फॉर द नेगेटिव फीडबैक सिस्टम इज नथिंग बट जी ओवर वन प्लस जी इन टू एच हियर द जी वैल्यू इज नथिंग बट दिस एंड एच वैल्यू इज एच टू सो और स्टेप नंबर फोर इज सॉल्विंग नेगेटिव फीडबैक सिस्टम सो लेट्स कैलकुलेट द ओवरऑल आउटपुट ऑफ दिस नेगेटिव फीडबैक सिस्टम सो पुटिंग द वैल्यूज ऑफ गेन फॉरवर्ड पाथ गेन एंड फीडबैक पाथ गेन इन दिस फॉर्मूला वी गेट G1, G4, G2 plus G3 over 1 plus G2 plus G3 multiplied with H1. It is our value of G. Whole divided by 1 plus. Again, we have to write G value. and the h value is nothing but h2 now let's simplify it so its value will now become g1 c4 g2 plus g3 over 1 plus g2 plus G three into H one whole divided by taking the LCM in the denominator, we get one plus G two plus G three into H one plus G one G four G two plus G three into H two whole divided by one plus G two plus G three into H one. Since the denominator of the this term will get cancelled out with this denominator, so the remaining output will now become G one G four. G two plus G three divided by one plus G two plus G three into H one plus G one G four G two plus G three into H two. So this is our overall gain now let's redraw the control system so here here is an input r of s that is applied and here is a forward path gain and we finally get an output that is equals to c of s here we write this term only
here we copy this term so g1 g4 g2 plus g3 divided by 1 plus g2 plus g3 into h1 plus g1 g4 g2 plus g3 into h2 so this is the reduced control system so this is how we can easily solve and reduce our control system by the help of block diagram reduction technique thank you if you like my videos then do subscribe my channel and please comment thank you